Welcome to the shop, everybody. Today I'm going to degree a cam in on this big block 454. It's running a solid lift roller cam from Comp Cams. Over here on the table, here are some of the tools I'll be using to uh, check the degree on the cam. The manufacturer is asking for a 106 intake center line. So I'll be installing the bottom sprocket, the timing chain set. I'll warm it up with a torch a little bit. Usually makes it slide on there easily without having to use a hammer. Slide on there, hold it until it cools off a little bit. And on this sprocket, it actually has several places you can line it up for different timing, advanced, retarded, several different places. I'm gonna put it on zero for now to just to check it and see where we're at. And I may end up running it two degrees retarded because this cam that I have, uh, the timing on it is a little bit soft for the application. So you can actually run these cams a little bit retarded to give it a little bit more top end power, or you can advance it to give it a little bit more low end power. And uh, so in this application, I think I'd rather run it retarded a little bit, but we'll see. Here I'm putting a dial indicator on the piston uh, to uh, try to find top dead center. Uh, you can't find it perfectly because the piston kind of dwells at the top a little bit, but it kind of gets you in the ballpark. And then look down there, the timing marks all lined up. So now I'm putting a pointer on the block for the degree wheel. dead center. Now to get perfect top dead center I use a piston stop. And I actually rotate the engine in one direction until it stops. I'm going to have about 40. And I'll rotate it the opposite way until it stops and take a reading again. It's on 40 so I know when that's on top dead center that's a true top dead center for that piston very important and so now I set the indicator up on the intake lobe of the camshaft and I'll find maximum lift and then I'll turn it until it's like 50 thousandths down one side of the lobe and then I'll take a reading on the degree wheel and it looks like we got 65 so then I'll rotate it the opposite way and go down 50 thousandths on the other side of the lobe Take a reading. Let's see what we got. Fifty thousandths. I see. Yeah, it looks like one fifty. Okay. And we'll take those two numbers and we'll add them together and then divide them by two, and it gives us a one oh seven point five intake center line. That's actually retarded some, just like I wanted. Uh, see, they're asking for a one oh six. It's on a 107.5, which is about perfect. A little bit of timing chain wear should settle in on a 108. That's about exactly where I wanted it. So that's pretty much how I degree a camshaft in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit me with a like. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you on the next project. Thanks so much.